Hi, I'm Rachel McFadden, and I'm at ICANN 65 in Marrakesh, Morocco, with Rafiq Damak, the GNSO Vice Chair and Head of the PDP 3.0 team. And we're here to talk about that and about the evolving the multi-stakeholder model. Welcome. So let's talk first about the PDP 3.0 model, uh, or the PDP 3.0 uh, effort. Um, so how is that going so far? What, what is your impression of how it's going? Okay, so I think we are uh, making progress. So we started in a Kobe meeting uh, by forming uh, the team composed by volunteers uh, from the Geneso Council. And we uh, set up our uh, work plan uh, and we set a target to uh, deliver our work in terms of uh, implementation to the Geneso Council by the meeting in Montreal. So that now give us uh, a, a roughly four months to finish our work. And give us a little background about what the state of the project is and how, you know, where you're at with um, what it looks like at this point. Okay, so yeah, in, in terms of background, it's important to understand uh, where we started in, in the beginning. So uh, it was in last year, uh, we had our Chinasong Council um, uh, meeting in LA uh, in January last year. And so we, we had that uh, kind of really frank and candid discussion between uh, councillor about all the issues and the concerns uh, they see in terms of uh, the policy development process and working groups. And we get as an input uh, a staff paper um, kind of highlighting uh, some issues from their perspective. And using that, we had that discussion and dialogue and thought how we, how we can do better, what kind of improvement we need to, to do. And I think the, the really key words on this is the, how we make uh, the PDP more effective and efficient and understanding all the constraints we have in terms of uh, the budget, human resource, and to, uh, to do better planning so we finish on time and so on. So we had that discussion and we spent like um, last year working on the recommendation and they were approved uh, in Barcelona meeting. But after the, uh, the recommendation, what matters is the implementation. And uh, this discussion in the, in the Genesis Council level was just what's the best approach to do so? And it's important, I think, for the council to take ownership and something gets started. And we have uh, the small team composed of uh, a councillor representing uh, the different stakeholder group in the GNSO. And as said, we started in, in Kobe and we are uh, making progress in our work to get things delivered uh, by Montreal because we are talking about to be effective and efficient and we have to live up uh, to those uh, expectations ourselves. So this is a really ambitious project. This is talking about looking at root and branch of the way that ICANN makes policy. So this gets at the multi-stakeholder model of governance. Um, so this gets into evolving the multi-stakeholder model of governance. How do these two efforts work together? So um, our kind of initiative or project pre precede or predates this uh, whole discussion about the multi-stakeholder uh, model evolution, evolution. And also in terms of focus, we are really just about the PDP. Uh, because we need to remind that the Geneso Council is the policy manager and so it was important for us to see what we can do better as a manager of the process but also what we need to do to help uh, the working group so the idea how we can support uh, the working group leadership uh, what the role of the liaison from the council and then how they can help in the working group and also uh, what we need to provide in terms of resourcing and how we can do a better planning. But also if you see it as a term of project management, we improve the reporting and so on. So it was the focus for, our, for the Genesis was really about the Genesis of PDP. And I see that it's important to have this PDP 3.0 uh, to succeed. 
as it's kind of the continuous improvement we, we see. And uh, I understand that many parties within GNSO, they want to participate and give their, uh, their input. So it's kind of, I think it will set uh, for the future and we will continue and probably maybe we need to, uh, to see how we can uh, uh, in, uh, include more input and so on. Compared to uh, what's going on with uh, this multi-stakeholder evolving uh, uh, model, um, I guess there is overlap, and this is maybe what can concern uh, many parties, is just we, we should avoid the overlap or duplication of efforts. And this is, this is what we are doing is more bottom-up, we, really, we need it really to, to succeed. And at the end, we probably we need to continue the improvement because um, there is no way we'll fix all of all the problem. We are trying to adjust, and we are learning from the experience and uh, of what we will apply uh, in the future. And hopefully, things will change. So, uh, give us a, an idea of what you're focusing on in the next, say, three to six months. In fact, even uh, less than that. It's four months. I mean, we, we have several category of uh, recommendation that we are working on the implementation, but this is basically really like um, how we can uh, get the consensus because all our recommendations are consensus based. So saying we need they, they are consensus based is not enough. It's, uh, we need more guidelines. Uh, we need to support the, the working group leadership in kind of how to get that. And also in terms of procedure, do we need to improve them? Do we need to add more, um, I'd say, guidance? So it will help uh, all parties to understand uh, the procedure. On the other hand is, for example, to improve um, the reporting. It's not just to add more workload to the team, but it's to help uh, the GNSO Council as policy manager uh, to monitor what's going on and so also to add that, uh, that accountability. So, we, we, as I said, we have those categories and as we, we know that they are not uh, enough. In fact, there are, we, we, from what we discussed last year, we have some uh, recommendation that they were not approved yet and we know that they need more discussion. And also, uh, during the work of the PDP 3.0 uh, team, we kind of find out there are many, maybe some area for improvement. But since we are just focusing on the implementation, we are thinking just we can propose that the Geneso Council for uh, further work in the future. Um, so yeah, we have four months. We need to get things done, as said before, because we have to live up of what we are asking the wor working groups and Geneso to do. And it's also good experience for us to see if uh, what is feasible or not, and uh, um, how to say uh, using some of those recommendations uh, in practice and see if we need some some adjustment. What is your best case scenario in the in the you know in the immediate future or in the uh, you know I. I I, I won't be optimistic enough to say at the you know at the end game, but like in the immediate future, what's your best case scenario? I think it's uh, kind of uh, and to some extent is going. Uh, it's happening is really to uh, succeed in implementing this recommendation as soon as possible. I mean, it's fine to spend the time to think about recommendation uh, or to to work out the implementation. But what matters is really that it's implemented and to practice it, and so to see that in in, uh, in real cases. So yeah, the best case is we get those implemented, or I mean, based on the plan we are working on as soon as possible. Hopefully, like by next year in a new working group or even in existing working group trying to uh, kind of uh, improve them uh, and to, to help them on their, uh, in their work. So that's really what uh, I hope and uh, what we want to achieve. Great. I wanted to go back to one of the, the issues that you men mentioned before about the, uh, some of the issues that the community raised um, about uh, well, the issues list and the, you know, the, some of the issues with the policy development process. Um, how do you feel you know, the progress has been made in addressing some of those? 
so I, um, I cannot really speak about the issues this, but because that's in an in, in ongoing process. But uh, reading some of the comment, I think there is uh, some overlap of what we are trying uh, to do or achieve. But I understand there is a lot of work still to be done. And I really believe that process as what we have that can be tweaked and adjusted can respond to this. So um, we need to know that there is a frustration in the different parties, uh, parts of the community about the PDP in terms of effectiveness, efficiency uh, being uh, uh, done in a timely manner and so on. But also we need to balance that about all uh, kind of the principle we have like diversity, representation and so on. And that's also what we're in our thinking when we start discussing the PDP 3.0. So it's how you can improve and keeping those principles. And so um, like that's what we are now doing in the implementation and to think, um, do we need some guidelines? Do we need some checklist for decision making? And so on, just to improve that uh, process. Um, I, I know that usually in ICANN we are quite a procedural process oriented. But at the end, it's kind of uh, a needed factor to ensure the trust that in all parts with different interests in ICANN, they can work together. So that's why we are spending time in the process. It's not because it's, uh, it's our hobby, but it's one of way that you can get everyone uh, to work together. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rafiq Damak from the PDP 3.0 team and the GNSO Council. Thank you very much. Thank you.